This is the Big Book of Tiny Art, a modern inspirational guide to the art of the miniature by Karen Leibcap. I'd like to highlight in about the artist at the end, not only has Karen been surrounded by art since a young age and went to Kent State University, she also enjoys working in different types of mediums and as you can see her online Etsy shop. Go there for more information and for seeing what she has for sale. This is impressive because the space that Karen works with is typically one and a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch square. She shares her process of artistry and shares various techniques, not just the tools and materials, but what you might want to do for using types of graphites, acrylics, colored pencils, some that you may not have known before or that you may have come across as you're studying further techniques in higher level education, watercolor techniques. Now, miniature art has been around probably since around the 16th century, so Karen is taking this wonderful style and showing us how to apply it to some of what we see in our modern world. I'll highlight a couple of these that I thought were extra fantastic in the simplicity but also in the nature of information that she uses. Uh, like I was saying, Ottoman miniature or Turkish miniature types of styles, those have been around for hundreds of years, probably with links to the Persian miniature and then having some influence from Chinese art too. So those types of influences have been happening also. It's in the medieval ages. What I enjoy about this picture is you can see going from a smaller type of scale, getting information, working with something basic, going to the next step. Karen uses various color examples of specifics telling you how to build one to another. So people who are enjoying working with various mediums together would probably like this book. For example, combining the watercolor with the colored pencils and the graphite, or like I had mentioned, you can also use acrylics. Those are uh, another option that Kieran mentions as well as gouache. So when I had said you, various mediums, those are some of what are entailed. Now on this page, going a step further, and Kieran gives ideas on how to add flair for the highlighted side and then also for the shaded side. Coming finally to more of a finished product, even getting darker, emphasizing the light, and coming towards the gray at the end, the fine details, really helping those feathers stick out. Then on this lamb, as Kieran says in particular, you see this quote, you'll discover a range of colors hidden beneath because in nature white is rarely pure white and black rarely pure black. Because you can also see colors pop out in just the natural neutral shades. So you're seeing all these elements of design happen with your pencil and brush strokes. And it looks, even though it's simple and small, pretty amazing. So there are some tips I'm going to be flipping through here. These are some elements, not quite of pop art, reminiscent of Andy Warhol because that was more of a cultural influence but this is the idea that even though something is normal, there are still elements of art exhibited whenever you study them and you can look at them in various unique ways to appreciate what they offer. Something simple, something that you're familiar with seeing, but when you look at it and draw it, it creates a whole new dimension of appreciation. So here are some examples. This is just a teaser for you. Those were food and drink. There are various segments of suggestions of other, like people. This one is animals. Kieran has wonderful style tips, hints for you in this book. Go out and grab this either at your local library or by purchasing it online or at your local bookstore. Enjoy!